Yes, our big focus is improving access to health services, in particular universal health coverage, ensuring that everyone gets the health services they need with full financial protection. And so much of that is around access to medicine, you know, that um, a huge proportion of out-of-pocket spending is people having to buy medicines over the counter and not being able to afford them. So in so many countries where we're working, this key issue of access to medicine is, is like the front line of universal health reforms. So we do a lot of work with the foundation to, to raise this issue with developing country governments, but also with pharmaceutical companies to ensure that access to medicine is given the real political priority that it deserves. We at Chatham House, uh, as I was mentioning, are very keen to promote access to medicine and, and we have worked in close collaboration in organising events really highlighting specific areas that, that progress needs to be made. And I remember particularly one very effective event looking at um, access to medical oxygen, uh, where we brought together uh, in a round table format multiple stakeholders to look at this issue and move the agenda forward. So I see this as a, a very complementary way that the Foundation can work with Chatham House in this type of round, round table format to really move agendas forward. Extremely useful, as I say, because uh, access to medicines is often the big issue, particularly in South Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, what we need to encourage is greater political awareness that more money needs to be raised to pay for medicines. But obviously the, the countries are getting good value for money from the medicines that they procure. So the information that, that the Access to Medicine Foundation provides as much to put pressure on pharmaceutical companies to prioritise access is vitally important. So I think this, this technical advice, if presented in a political way, is, is a very smart and useful tool. Um, because I, I think it is improving efficiency and effectiveness and equity in, in access to medicine. And um, it's been terrible over the years, that, you know, how it has been the case that rich people have been able to afford medicines and poor people not. And I think that the, the work that the Foundation is doing to uh, really raise this issue and, and help governments get better value for money out of their public spending on medicines uh, is, is vitally important in the, in the campaign for universal health coverage.